How to stick it to the man. Since there's been money, there's been the man. He's not just some white guy puffing a cigar. He's the person who denies you alone. He's the guy who invented the word overage. He's FICA. He can be anyone of any color or creed. He can be a she. But for the purposes of this film, the man will be played by a white guy in a suit puffing a cigar. Step one, use free stuff. I don't actually drink coffee, but five times a day I will fill up a mug with fresh roast and then dump it in the sink. And no matter how much I waste, there's always more coffee because my company keeps buying it. Stick it to the man! Step two, add aware. My body is not a billboard. I never wear clothing that features the logo of a company that charged me way too much money to buy the product in the first place. Also, I watch television with a pad of paper and a pen. When I see an ad I don't like, I write down the name of the product so that I never buy it. Take that, erectile dysfunction. Stick it to the man. Step three, live your life. I'm on vacation. I take every vacation day I can per year. I don't work late and I don't work weekends. Stick it to the man. Step four, invent something. I invented a new device for people to sit in. In five years, the chair will be obsolete. When no one buying chairs, the man's global chair cartel will collapse. That's a big stick. Stick it to the man. Step five, protest. I love to protest. I make up clever signs and I stand out in front of corporations and government buildings and point out their flaws. <laughs> Sometimes I even get news channels to come out and film it. People love seeing the man get stuck. Stick it to the man. Step six, lead a revolution. <laughs> it's easy to scare the man. Just get together with some friends. Gatherings scare the man. Whenever the man walks by, we hush up and look real guilty. And then when he walks away, we go back to exchanging cookie recipes. Oh yeah, stick it to the man! True, I might never lead an actual revolution to overthrow the government, but I like to think that the man doesn't know that and that it keeps him up at night. That's why, during cell phone conversations, I'll say words like socio-political change and uh, Operation Tea Party and let's overthrow the government on Saturday. You know, in case he's illegally listening in. After all, he deserves it. He's the man. The man has been stuck.